Hey, it's me, Cynthia. I am she, and I just got back from doing my taxes. I don't know why I look over there every single time I start a video. Doesn't matter where I am, I always look to the left, because I'm left-handed, and we're awesome. I just did my taxes with H&R Block, and I got $141 back, and H&R Block took 120 of it. So next year, I'm hoping I can just do the easy form, because I don't make a lot of money, and I won't own anything new, or sell anything. I don't have anything to sell, except for my car. But I don't think that would be smart to sell it. Alright, after that, I was so depressed that I went to Michael's and I got a latch hook rug. I haven't done one of these since I was literally 10. I think 10 was the cutoff for these. And then I was like, Ugh, I'm so over that. So um, I want to do one and start decorating my craft room with crafts. I got a. Uh, Back up crochet kits. Yay! And then, okay, for knitting, I'm in it to win it. So I got bamboo circular needles. Mm -hmm. um, I got them size 9 millimeter because, and it's gold and black. Gold. Do I already have this? It is the colorway Roosevelt. No, I don't have this. So I think the other one I have is like called Starry Night or something. But it's beautiful, black and gold. And I got two of those so I can make a hat and then a matching hat. Um, for my hat loom, I was using needles, circular needles to pull, uh, flick off the yarn because I lost my, my hook. So I went ahead and bought one of these for 99 cents. And then I got a backup pair of skeezers uh, for like $1.20 or something. And that's that. And I'm wearing my Miley Cyrus shirt that I got from the thrift store last year. <laughs> Imagine if I had gotten it brand spanking new. I'm chewing gum. Which is not a very smart thing to do since I was eating the Cadbury mini chocolate eggs and I bit my... When I eat candy, the insides of my mouth, I'm allergic to chocolate so everything swells and then I, I tend to bite everything and then rebite it, you know, because we're all human and we all do it. And uh, I'm chewing, chomping on gum and I'm eventually going, I'm going for the fifth cheek bite. So, I'm hoping this is going to be a record. Alright, so today's Saturday, March 14th, and I uploaded a video yesterday, Friday the 13th, which is an awesome day. Ruger's scratching himself so hard that he's crying. He has complete control over that. He's not too bright. What? Oh, you're posing. You are posing like a handsome. And then Devlin is over there on his... I'm not good at this. Devlin is snuggled up. He's snuggled up for today. He's very bored. Well, good for you. Good for you. Okay, so I am going... I'll be back later if I have anything else to say and if I don't well then I'm gonna just click upload I think I'll uh Mark's on his way thanks for the text Mark and if I don't text back immediately he calls me like immediately within 30 seconds so I gotta go bye ah um my I'm gonna have a bit of a list I still have that sore in my mouth, and it's like getting worse. And I have been rinsing a few times a day with salt water, warm salt water, and I don't know if it's working. I'm still having trouble eating and talking. So, I started a new hat, 5.5 needles, with the variegated yarn, 
And that's how I, that's, it looks really nice. It's striping nicely. The pooling, is that what you call it? When it works itself, it does stuff for its and my mouth is killing me. <laughs> it hurts so bad and I haven't had any candy today and that is hurting me worse than my mouth. I am watching Supernatural as you guys have seen on Instagram, my little picture. Um, I, I like it. I'm not sure about it. It's not like, it's not Sons of Anarchy and Breaking Bad addicting. And we just started watching um, Walking Dead. We started that yesterday. We're on episode three tonight of season one. And we have a long way to go. But Supernatural, I did not know that it's been on for 10 years. It started in 2005. I have a lot of catching up to do. And also, since I'm not obsessed with Supernatural, I can watch it while knitting. So, that is a plus. You can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> and this kind of sucks. That nail, which happens to be my middle finger, it broke right there. Right down there. So, it keeps catching on yarn, so I have to break it off all the way. It makes me sad. It takes a very long time to grow these nails this long. Alright. I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta save hats. It's all about the hats. Keep the yarn safe. Check out that. Look. There's... <laughs> what is this? What is this? me on my face. Oh. Hi. Okay. I was upstairs. But there's nobody up there. It's not my problem. Hi. I found this beautiful butterfly out on my driveway. And she has withered wings. They are just withered and awful. This is not focusing. But she is a tiger swallowtail butterfly. And I made a little habitat for her out of my uh, Christmas ornament packaging. And I have a cup of water I used. I use a Kruig cup. And I don't have, it's not just, she can't just fly in there and drown. I have a napkin soaked with sugar water in there. I only had brown sugar. So I have to get my honey from work tomorrow. But there she is. She's not moving. That's a dead flower. I only have dead flowers in my yard right now. You can't really see her. She's not moving around a whole lot. So she might just be in shock still. There's a... It's a pretty big enclosure for now. As long as she's away from him and his mouth, I think she'll be okay. They only um, live 20 to 40 days. So hopefully I can give her a good little life while she's with me. The ir irony was not lost on me that I got a butterfly latch hook rug and then got a butterfly. Welcome. Let's try to get you out of the glare. Get me out of the glare. Let's all get out of the glare. So this is what I have so far. This is turning out super awesome knitted. Margaret was right. This is what it looks like. Here. It's not choppy. It just flows into itself. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, it's pretty big, 
So I think I'm going to start decreasing and finish it. Colin has been asking about the snow boy nonstop, and he also wants to meet my butterfly, and she is doing well. Her wings are still withered, and she still cannot fly, but she's doing her best. Next, I haven't named her because I don't want... I'm already attached to her, but I don't want to name her, and I don't know how long she's been alive. It can't be that long because she has withered wings, so I'm pretty sure she came out of her cocoon didn't make it to uh, to the top of the stick or whatever they do to hang upside down to inflate their wings. All the wings on butterflies have veins in them. I don't know if there are nerves in there, but there are veins and that carries the fluid and they, they carry the, the liquid in their body and pump the fluid through the veins in their wings and then they're inflated. Well, if they don't get out of the cocoon fast enough, I got all this from the internet. Um, she won't have a chance to do all that before the wings dry and then they'll dry crumpled. So they're not, <clears throat> no matter how much I feed her, which I still, I don't know, I'm only feeding her twice a day. I can only get in there twice a day because I can't have the dogs in there because they'll eat her. They'll, and I don't want her down here and me feeding her down here because they'll, they'll eat her. <laughs> Uh, well, that's all I have for this. I'm very... I can't wait to finish it. It's so cool. Look at the little stripes it does. Bing, bing, bing. So, I know I'm doing it correctly because they are systematically striping. So, that is awesome. And I might break down and buy that clover kit, the uh, interchangeable interchangeable cables or whatever. That whole kit, it's like $165. I might do that because I keep buying these things, the needles and all different lengths and I'm like on my fourth set, third or fourth set. And I still don't have, I only have one that has the size cable that I want and the rest I have to just, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing and guessing and I can't follow any patterns because every time I pull up a pattern on the internet I don't have the proper material to build the hat or whatever. What have you. What have you. Why say that? What have you. Whatever you have. I'm officially going to end this uh, week long episode of my nothing life and start making something for next week. Who knows? No one knows. I don't have any more time anymore. I will have more time now that I don't have to drive Shannon and pick him up from work. So, it took me an hour on Friday to get from my work to his job on the strip. It took me an hour. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna strangle Burger. Alright. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye!